Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And I'm Terrence. Guys, friend of the show, past and present and future guest on the show, <laughs> Terrence Wiggins is here I because know. Terrence had a fun idea for an episode, and we liked it so much we said, C -c come Just back Just come on. hang out with us. Come back. Come back. <laughs> we Come back to us. We enjoyed having you on the uh, the Destiny episode and the Persona episode. Mm -hmm. And now, finally. The three-peat. The three-peat. Besides like your actual coworkers, am I, am I the most repeated guest? Ooh, that's a good question. That potentially. Yeah, I think it might be. That sounds right. That's, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say <laughs> yes. Uh, if someone else was and we're forgetting them, you're dead to us. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. Terrence, you served you. <laughs> uh, Terrence, do you want to like explain what we're doing today since it was your idea? Yeah. So there is that uh, that meme going around on on Twitter where people are like, what Pokemon type am I? And my idea was that to decide what type of actual Pokemon you are, not just type, uh, you would take your uh, your favorite animal and then have someone the whoever tells you what type you are that's the type you are so you combine the animal and the type and basically you and make it into a pokemon that's hell yes <laughs> love that uh nathan love that. you're going first yeah I'll, I'll draw first should we start with your favorite animal yeah i already know this it's an elephant everyone already knows everyone this. knows it's an elephant nathan loves elephants i love an elephant <laughs> i love i love those good stampy boys they have big cylinder feet they got big big cylinder feet covered um, in wrinkles trunks Tusks. Not a whole lot of elephant Pokemon. There's Fam Fampy and Dunfan. Both awful names. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying. Uh, but we're gonna make one with a good name. Okay. Um, so we gotta figure out Nathan's typing. Yeah. Do you wanna like start sketching mm -hmm. like an elephant or something as we as we determine this? Sure, yeah. I'll draw just sort of a me yeah, like base out me as an elephant. I, I Cause think because it, it's supposed to be like it's supposed to be kind of us, right? Or yeah. yeah, like the Pokemon version of you. Yeah, a so as like, an animal. So like a Pokemon elephant. Yes. Yeah. So let's get a little trunk. A, a poke elephant. A poke elephant. I would like to submit to the Pokemon court mm -hmm. that Nathan's definitely got some fairy type in him. Okay. So a fairy, a fairy elephant. I was thinking Nathan's kind of like a, a rock Pokemon. He just seems very rock esque to me. I don't know why. Still and solid. Rock like, huh? Okay. There's also like so a rock. Is there a rock? There is. It's uh. There De yeah. Deancey. Deancey. That can't be. Deancey. <laughs> that can't be the a name. I think isn't Deancey uh, steel and fairy? No, you're thinking of Magierna. <laughs> Mag what? Mag Magierna. <laughs> I think isn't that Hercules's wife? No, that's Megara. <laughs> Magierna. <laughs> so. Are we thinking like a fairy rock? A I think Nathan's rock, got some grass type too, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. I, bit when, of... I, when I posted <laughs> the meme to my Twitter, the, the two most common typings I was given were fairy and grass. Although fairy I did, and grass. I did, I, did get, I did get some ground, and I got some, some normal. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Willie Muse, friend, friend of the show, friend of the show, frenemy of the show. Frenemy of the show, because he called Nathan a normal type. He called me a normal he type, called, too. Yeah. See, I would my my initial instinct for Nathan would be like rock and fire. Rock and fire, I love that because the the fire for like your red hair. Oh, like, oh. interesting. See, I like that from a physical standpoint, but from a personality standpoint, Nathan got no fire. I'm not a fiery. He's not a fiery. <laughs> he's like he's like a numal. Wait, which one's a numal? That's the camel. The camel is I, that camera up? It's the unevolved form of camera up. Yeah. That's Why an erupting I camel. What? <laughs> I don't understand a single word that's been said. You said numeral, and I thought that was a type, and then you said it was a flipping Pokemon name. Numeral. 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 Julia, you're here for this. You're the audience surrogate. Yeah. And also because we can't draw Pokemon without having you on an episode. You're the audience Celebi. <laughs> What? <laughs> Come on, Julie. You remember that old song from the early 2000s, the Numel Numel dance? <laughs> a classic. That was a bad joke. I have to leave. I have to go. It is the closest I, I will probably get to Pokemon. You're right. I know the Numa Numa dance. And that's not related to Pokemon at all. There we go. 
So I think I'm gonna go fairy rock because I want to honor Terrence's contribution. I like a fairy rock. A fairy I think rock works. elephant, I think, could be fun. It's fairy also my rock. favorite. We're gonna go say it at the same time. Yeah. It's our favorite. <laughs> Should say it with me. No, nah, you do it. You go. Say it with me. Come on. <laughs> you can have Let's it. Let's do this together. It's, it's our, our it's favorite, favorite musical <laughs> genre. <laughs> You've all bailed on me. Uh, I said it with you. I was just disappointed in myself. Terrence, I don't have much to contribute in Terrence this Terrence would have said it with me if we didn't have the oh. delay from the internet that makes it impossible to do that. Yes. Nathan, I feel like this is sponsored content, hashtag ad for the new Dumbo movie. Well, what, what else would you have me do for a fairy elephant? It's very cute. I really like the ears. I, I do not like looking at the new Dumbo. No, me either. It's so scary looking. Like his eyes are way too bright blue and it doesn't look like a actual baby elephant. No. And it upsets me. It doesn't look like an elephant that I want to be friends with. And I want to be friends with most elephants. I know, right? I'm very much enjoying this uh, elephant that Nathan is drawing. Do you need to have the beard? Oh it, yeah, of it course. Is, it is me. It is you. So I gotta get some rocks going. I mean, elephants already look somewhat rock-like. Yeah. You know, they got them wrinkles and creases. That's true. They got them wrinkles and yeah, maybe, maybe I'll just gray. Like, add some add some like crackies. So it's kind of like a rock with clouds on it. Yeah. It's a cloudy rock. It's a cloudy cloudy with a chance of rock. rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's my other favorite musical genre. In high school, Nathan was uh was uh crowned the most likely to be a cloudy rock. <laughs> so this all works out. How did you know? <laughs> I haven't told that to anyone. <laughs> Caldwell told me. I like this alternate reality where you and Caldwell went to high school together. <laughs> Droffy was made in high school with Nathan and Caldwell. The the the, the Droffy alternate universe. There is a Droffy high school fan fiction out there. Oh man, there is. It's, it's where, real good. Where we're all in high school. Uh, that I've I've read. I love it's it. very nice. So we've got we've got this. Yes. I guess. What do you what do you think? It. I guess like we've got to give it some legs. I mean, it doesn't have to have legs. You don't have to do anything. You could have like, <laughs> I was gonna say, you could have like, like rounded boulder legs. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, it could have some little boulder legs. I think maybe they're they're sort of like up like this. Like I'm sort of. I I feel like I'd be I'd be relaxed. Yeah, this looks I'd like be, a pose you'd be making if if you were like really happy. I'd in be real doing life. like a yeah. Be doing like a little like this. If you were having a giggle, this would be the pose you'd be making. Yeah. Um, and you gotta get those little like elephant these thingies. See, Julia, I think this will be an easier one for you because you don't have to try to draw what you think a Pokemon is. You just have to make it up like whole cloth. I'm not worried about the drawing part. It's the whole banter bit I can't contribute to. <laughs> the whole banter bit. I, I have no idea what anyone said this Well, you episode. know what elephants are. You know what rocks are. I uh, contributed there. <laughs> when you watch this back, you'll see that for the first like 10 no. minutes of this, I haven't said a word. I refuse to believe. David, edit it so that Julia was talking the whole time we were talking. <laughs> Take a clip from her from a different episode and overlay it. So are these wings? Yeah. Nice. But I'm not a flying type. I'm a fairy type. Oh. So you kind of just float. I float. Yeah. Is Maybe. Charizard a fairy? No. Charizard's, Charizard's flying. flying. He actually flies? Yeah, he does fly. He fly and he fire. If you use a Charizard X on it, then it becomes a dragon. Uh... Didn't didn't Charizard not become flying until like a later generation? Like he was just fire for a while. It was always fire flying uh, in the American versions. I can't speak to the Japanese. I want to say that he wasn't for a while. And Terrence, don't do this. I, I got know. in a lot of trouble for making this mistake in a previous episode, <laughs> L literally years ago. <laughs> I claimed very boldly that there wasn't dual typing in the original Pokemon games. <laughs> and there super is, and I was very wrong, and I got in a lot of trouble, was, and everyone yelled at me forever. I was going to say, Bulbasaur is grass and poison, so you just, like, immediately... I thought Bulbasaur was just grass in the original. I didn't remember there was a second type in the original ones, but I was also a child. Oh, you know what? Here's what we're doing. What are we doing? These, these are going to be... They're going to be arm wings. Arm wings! So I'm going like... <laughs> I, I like this. I'm going like, hey... Look out. You're just always kind of floating and giggling. Yeah, I'm having a good time. <laughs> That's the uh, noise it makes. So th is this just a Nathan, or does it get a Pokemon name? We should make up a name, right? Yeah, we should probably yeah. come up with a good, a good like, punny yeah. 
rock. Yeah, yeah, fell, yeah, fent, yeah, fent, laughalent, laughalent, glamafent, Nathan, 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 Nathan. 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 <laughs> That sounds like I'm an infant. <laughs> I kind of uh, like infant. Because <laughs> maybe this is the infant form. Yeah. You know, and then you evolve from here. There's two more stages. Now, as you know, Nathan had a beard when he was a baby. Yeah. So. He was a beard baby. He was a beard baby. Yeah, I guess Caldwell did draw me as a little, like, crab Pokemon in a, in a very old Drawfee episode. But I like this one better. I like this one. This feels like it's very representative of you. I'm just having a good time. This is how I feel when I'm hanging out with you guys. That's for sure. Nathan, that's Aww. very Yay. sweet. You feel like a, a elephant rock? I feel like a rock elephant. A happy rock a elephant. A happy rock elephant what floats and is also a fairy, whatever that means to you. I think it just means they're like a, the most joyful of the Pokemon. Yeah, so I think, you know, I'm, I probably don't have great stats. I'm probably not great competitively. Maybe I've got a really high defense. Maybe yeah. I'm like a wall. You put me on your team to wall out certain types. And like it's also a, a like a morale blow because you're like hovering and giggling while they're like throwing everything at you. And yeah, there's not... some sort of like <laughs> status effect thing that you do that causes people's attacks to miss, but really it's just that they don't want to hit you. Yeah, they're going to get guilty. Yeah. Charizard is feeling guilty. Charizard missed. <laughs> Maybe I've just got some like rocks floating around. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Yeah, the Pokedex entry would be like, uh, ne ne whatever your Pokemon name is, gets so excited he kicks up rocks. <laughs> You're like, like, oh, that's oh, cute. All right, that's kind of all right. But because it's the Pokedex, it would be like he gets so excited he kicks up rocks to lure infants away from their mothers to yeah. devour them. <laughs> it's always something dark in there. I'm st I'm steady trying to think of a name, and like I'm I'm like Nathan Fairy Rock. Fair Nathan Fairy. <laughs> you can just say the fairy, words over fairy. and over. I think. <laughs> fair, fairy, fairy fant. Fairy fant is very cute, and I like Nathan too. If it is just going to be Nathan's name, <laughs> Elephant. Elephant the elephant. Yeah, I was going to say that's a oh, kid's. Oh dang it! <laughs> Elephart. Elephart. Give it a fart, and we're in business. Now it's a poison type. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Someone else should draw. That's me. That's my job. You draw. You draw next. It's my turn. Yeah. I'm ready to draw a poke. It is your turn. So, Jacob, what's your favorite animal? I know this. I think me and Terrence actually share a favorite animal because my favorite animal is the capybara. <laughs> yes. The most stoic friend. A friend to all. The largest rodent. The largest rodent but the, just the right sized friend. So I'm gonna get started on that because I know I just have to draw a rectangle. Yeah. For their head. They got they got the most rectangular heads. A rounded rectangle. Yeah, a rounded rectangle for the head. And um, I, I got to get some types in here. Some so typing. Begin, begin thinking. Thinking like s steel type. Steel. Steel type. A steel capybara. Big old metal. Metal Jacob. Metal Jacob. I feel like when I did it on Twitter, I got a lot of. Fighting. Mm -hmm. I got some poison. I got some dark. Dark, sure. I'm kind of the bad boy of drop. You're, you're kind of the bad boy. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do like to. You, it's it's not like a physical fighting, but you do like to uh, take a stance and fight for it. I do like to take a stance and fight for it. I fight for my friends. So maybe maybe a steel fighting capybara. capybara. Steel fighting capybara. Oh, that's cool. That's cool as hell. It's my it's my favorite Mega Man X boss. <laughs> Steel fighting capybara. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can do that. I feel like fighting automatically means it's got cool hair, <laughs> and that would also that tracks for you because you do have cool hair. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Nathan. That's when you're when you're drawing our little blobbies. It's Julia is ponytail glasses. I'm yep. big cloud beard, and you're cool hair. And I'm cool. And I'm cool hair. Yeah, that yeah. is true. You're tall and cool, cool hair. Cool hair yeah. Jacob. That's the sequel to Cool Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Not as popular. The, se the sequel that nobody asked for. <laughs> and nobody liked. He couldn't even drink one egg. <laughs> I could drink so many eggs, dude. I don't even know what that movie's about, so that's the only reference point I have. He's got cool hands. Everybody comes up to him and they're like, oh, dude, you got 
You got real cool hands. Or his hands like physically cool, so you can just like touch people and cool them down. Yeah, it's just they're not cold. They're just cool. So it's like the it's like when you flip the pillow over. <laughs> it's, it's refreshing. Refresh. That's what you want. But refreshing hand Luke was too yeah, long. So they just made it cool. I've not seen Cool Hand Luke, and I don't know what it's about. I also haven't seen it, and I, do, I don't think any of us. Julia, do you know it? You... I've seen half the movie. You know the most of, out of all of us. What was That's that half true. about? Was um, it about feeling lucky? Punk? Punk? That's it, not that movie. That's not? What am I thinking of? You're thinking of Clint Eastwood. Dirt, dirty Harry. Dirty Harry. Harry. I knew it was a guy's name. <laughs> Very good, Nathan. <laughs> it's a description and a guy's name. What's Cool Hand Luke about? Uh, now I might be confusing it with a guy who eats eggs. Uh, with the other one that you were just talking about. Yep, never seen Cool Hand Luke. I was thinking of Dirty Harry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> they occupy the same brain space for me. I, as as two movies I haven't seen. It's that... descriptor and and name. Yeah, that's really weird. That that would be the confusion for both of you. Because those they they're not the same. No, certainly not. Does he have a strong body? You, does you does you have a strong body? Does you does me have a strong body? <laughs> You've given it a very strong neck. <laughs> I've given it a very strong neck. I don't want it to have a strong man's body. I thought about that, and now I don't. I don't want that. Doesn't need to. I think it should be. I I'm think it should be. It should be long. It should be like a tall. It, yeah, you're a, you're a you're, you're a, a long tall, gentleman. You're a tall drink of water, Jacob. Sure, yeah. Update: Cool Hand Luke is about some criminals who are just being <laughs> miserable for some guards. That's it. Being That's what this is about. Miserable for some guards. For some prison officers. That's the whole plot. What? According to this thing that I'm reading, it's it's that they want to be just annoying to some prison officers. That's what cool. That's what uh. That's what cool hand Luke is about. Well, now I've got to see it. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> thrilling. All the cool hand Luke fans out there are gonna be going nuts on us. Yeah. Down in the comments, the cool fans, cool fan Lukes. Cool fan <laughs> Lukes. Which is also a Pokemon <laughs> trainer name. Cool <laughs> fan Luke wants to fight. <laughs> Speaking of uh of Lukes, you know um. Another uh, steel fighting Pokemon, Lucario. Lucario? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a steel fighting. Yeah. He's I think not I... like psychic or anything? Nope. Doesn't he have a lot of floaties? I only know him from Smash. Yeah, he he's has got, like weird he's powers. He's got aura powers, but those are fighting powers. Mm. He's, he's like Ryu. Yeah. I thought Lucario was something different. Lucario is steel fighting. Wow. And he talks in a deep man's voice. Yeah, Lucario. Lucario doesn't actually say his name, does he? He just kind of grunts. And he talks in a man's voice, like in the cartoon. He talks in a man's. Does he voice. actually like speak? Yeah, he has like tele tele teletubbies. Does he have a sword? Yeah, he's steel fighting. Oh, he fights with steel. Oh hell yeah! Oh, I like it. I like that idea. So he he rests his. Uh, and this is like kind of a. I want him to have sort of like a fur like samurai robe that's mm. made out of his fur. If mm. that makes sense. No, uh, yeah, like like uh, what's his name has a tongue scarf. Yeah, Greninja. Greninja. Greninja got a tongue scarf. Greninja got a tongue scarf, and water shurikens. And what's the one whose pants are skin? Scraggy. Scraggy. Scraff. His Scraggy. pants are skin. His skin are pants. His pants are skin. I tried to call him Scrabble in my head, which is <laughs> nothing. It's almost Scrabble. <laughs> It's it's what uh, Last FM calls plays. Yeah, <laughs> you could do your scrabbles. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so he's like reaching for yeah. I want him to have like one of these sort of positions. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like like this that they do. He's ready to fight from the sheath. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a practitioner. Mitsurugi style. Is that what it is? Yep, that is what I was gonna say. He's a practitioner of the Hiten Mitsurugi style. <laughs> The only sword style that matters. It is the Obviously. coolest. But he doesn't use a reverse blade sword. No, sir. He's out to kill. Whereas Nathan's was out for- For fun. For fun. For fun and enjoyment. To uh, spread some joy in the world. This, this guy's out for blood. Uh, I thought of another name for mine. Yes, go for it. Go on. Happy Derm. Happy oh, Derm. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I, think, I love it. I think my Pokemon's name is Happy Derm. Oh, it's so good. That's wonderful, Nathan. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I haven't made mine like me, really, at all. 
what I've drawn here is a capybara samurai. Which is which is how you see yourself. <laughs> it's not. I just told. I forgot that was part of what I'm supposed <laughs> no, to be doing. No, it's this is good. It's fine. Go. It's good. I we'll like add it. a little bit of beard. Add a little bit of beard. We'll add. Just give him. Just give him tight pants. He's just gonna have on tight pants. Give him some tight pants and some cool <laughs> boots, and you you got yourself a Jacob. Yeah, let's do that. That's correct. The Pokedex injury is just like he used, he forges his sword from the mountains, and who cares? Who cares? And who cares? Look at his pants. Look at his pants. <laughs> Where do you get those jeans? You might be interested in his sword, but have you seen his pants? <laughs> I love this drawing. He's just gonna have a little cuffed, little cuffed jeans on <laughs> under here. Oh yeah, but really, there you know, his skin is pants, like scraggy, his much skin. like scraggy. He's got is, uh, he's got a black underskin under his fur, but he just does not grow uh, fur on his legs. Yeah, exactly. So the fur, the fur is the clothing, and then the the skin is also the clothing. Yeah, the skin is clothing, and the, the fur is clothing. Then the sword. If any trainer, <laughs> the, the sword's a sword. The sword is a sword. <laughs> he just got a sword somewhere. He made he, that. He tra- he builds the sword himself, and then if you catch him, you are forced to buy him boots. Because <laughs> <laughs> his feet are tired. His tender little feet. I like to think that like this is an evolved form, and the unevolved form is just a capybara, and you evolve <laughs> it by just handing it a sword. And then it stands up on its hind <laughs> legs and demands pants. <laughs> you have to. You have to have a. Uh, what is that sword Pokemon? Honedge. <laughs> yes, you have to. Ha- you have to have a Honedge in your party. Yeah, and then you have to trade. You have to trade a Honedge for whatever the unevolved form of this. And then after the trade happens, it evolves. So what's this Pokemon's name? Jacob. Jacob Barra. Jakey Barra. Jakey Barra. <laughs> the leaves are blowing by. I was trying to think of like. Uh, like a Japanese sword name, but I got lost in the weeds. <laughs> That's a dangerous road to go down. Uh, Jakey Barra works <laughs> until I think of something better in like ten minutes. Ka- ka- katapa, <laughs> ka- Katani, ba- Cap, Capitana, ka- ka- Capitana. That's like Capitano. <laughs> <laughs> it's Capitana. I like that a lot. Um, oh, I want to add more little scars on this arm too. It's really just like stripes, but they look like scars. Nice. The Band-Aid's just a Band-Aid. The Band-Aid's just a Band-Aid. He got a boo-boo. He got a boo-boo and it hurt. Uh, <laughs> Julia, you ready to draw? Yeah. Okay, get in here. The blowing leaves are such a nice touch. Okay, so I'll start drawing mine. What's your favorite animal? Uh, a crow. I love crows. Crows are rad. They're so cool. They're just so smart. They're smart birds and they, they never forget a slight. Yeah, yeah, they gossip about you. They're smart vengeance yeah, I was, birds. I was going to say, Julia definitely seems like the most intelligent out of all of <laughs> us here. That is for sure true. Uh, so I was thinking psychic type. Psychic type makes oh, sense I for like Julia. Psychic. A psychic crow? Yeah, she could be psychic flying. Psychic it's... crow is the name of my metal band. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's a screaming <laughs> crow. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Yeah, psychic. Yeah, are we going with flying for the second? Just because it, it it's a crow. Psychic dark. Psychic dark. Psychic dark's pretty cool. Psychic dark's pretty cool. I was thinking maybe ice. Oh, I could see ice as well. Because Julia's very cool under pressure. Yeah, that's true. I, th- I feel like there there's a case that can be made for any of these typings, so. I really like psychic. Yeah, psychic definitely. And then for the second one, I think Julia, pick, pick your favorite. Yeah, of, you want ice, ones. dark, or flying. Or you could just be psychic. You could be monotype. <gasps> I do I like know. the idea of a bird Pokemon that is not flying type. Yeah, I like that yeah. too. Just to, we're taking I certainly don't out. do what I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> this crow does yeah. not fly. If this crow, if Julia was a bird and someone was like, hey, shouldn't you like be flying or something? Julia like, would nah. never would never fly. Like, like, no. don't, don't tell me what to do. What's the matter with you? <laughs> I'll fly if I want to, but not because you want me to. How do bird skulls work? It's like... It doesn't actually? matter. It's a Pokemon. You can design it however you want. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, That's make it true. make it cute. Make it badass. Make it badass cute? and cute. cute. Pokemon exists at the intersection of cute and badass, and and big old bird head. There we go. That's good. That's a shape that I wanted. So maybe maybe dark. Maybe dark. I mean, there already is a dark uh, crow oh, type. There is Pokemon, but all right. What about Psychic Ice? I could do Psychic Ice. Let's do Psychic Ice. Psychic ice. Psychic ice. 
Sucker case. We're definitely not considering like the ramifications of these typings, like what their weaknesses would be. Yeah, Nathan for the, probably for is. the competitive meta, uh, you you, you got to there 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 are some psychic ice types. Yeah, Jinx, Jinx is a uh, psychic yeah. ice. Why uh, is Jinx ice? Jinx does not look ice at all. Cause she she's Santa's uh she's Santa's helper. That's a that's a true story in the episode uh, that she shows up in. I think. Oh yeah, Santa Claus is real and does exist in the Pokemon universe. This is and also Santa Claus is also a bird named Deli Bird. <laughs> They just made it into a, a Pokemon later. Wow, wonderful! I just oh oh third, third I eye. just typed Pokemon Santa Claus into Google, and the uh, the one of the first videos that shows up is top five Pokemon's of Santa Claus. <laughs> Excuse me, that's some good SEO. That's some good holiday season SEO. They cornered it. They got it. Apparently, apparently he's a recurring character in the Pokemon anime. Amazing. I mean, there's so many episodes. They got to bring Santa back. You got to bring Santa back. Team Rocket trying to steal all the kids' presents or presents. something. Okay, yeah. so Psychic and Ice. Yeah. Psychic and Ice. We definitely have Bird. Yeah. Okay. Psychic, Ice. What would that entail? Okay. The Psychic ones are usually like levitating shit around. They were like glowing somehow. Yeah, I mean you've you've given it a third eye on top of its head. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's pretty good. May, maybe the wings could be a bit more jagged, like more, icy wings more, more for the icicly. ice. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I like that. Is, icy wings. Is Julia a legendary bird? I think Julia is a legendary bird. Nice. Julia is a legendary bird. That's what that's what they call her in England. <laughs> <laughs> She's a legendary legendary bird. bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do a uh, accent. That's fine. We'll just get in trouble. So for you two it. could embarrass yourselves. We embarrass ourselves all the time on Drawfee with with incorrect <laughs> accents. People know what they're getting into at this point. It it would not be the first time. Yeah, we've been told not to. Yeah, but every time I have the opportunity to make a British accent, I can't help myself. I'll make an accent that I consider British. Yeah. I'm not going to call it a British accent. No, it's not. It's definitely not. But Julia is a legendary bird. We can agree Julia on that. Julia is a legendary bird that is it's the only legendary bird that is not a flying type. Yeah. A legendary bird that refuses to fly. Yeah. Oh, well, she flies. She just refuses just, yeah, to refuse say that she's to. flying. Yeah, it's just, that's not her type. That's I just, could. I just don't want to. That's just something I do. It's he, not. She's she's using her psychic powers to float. I would never. I would never deign myself to fly. Yeah, it's levitation. It's not flying. It's different. It's spitting on Articuno. You embarrass yourself, Articuno. You're a disgrace. I just realized that uh, Jacob Jacob steel typing against my rock fairy would be quadruple effective. Whoa! It'd be x double super effective. What about my fighting? Fighting, uh, I think the the fact that your steel type cancels out the fact that fairy is strong against fighting. So I think I would just be regular effective against you. So in other words, I'm unbeatable. You're unbeatable by me. I'm incredibly powerful. But then I think Julia would kill the both Julia. Of you. Well, steel steel is good ice? against ice, but psychic is good against fighting. So you and Julia would be a, a balanced matchup. It would just determine listen the types don't matter julia would kill both of us yes okay <laughs> julia would be banned from tournament play for being op oh yeah. i thought that sentence was just about in real life <laughs> it's that too it's there's many layers <laughs> in any sort of combat scenario real or fictional uh, we would lose in a battle with julia i love these like ruffle ridges ruffles have ridges ruffles do have ridges <laughs> and this episode brought to you by ruffles <laughs> Mm. I love those salty mouth cutters. <laughs> I love a that was the original name for chips. <laughs> I love a know. greasy crease <laughs> in my chip. <laughs> <laughs> Get at us, Ruffles. <laughs> <laughs> they should call them Greasy's Creases. Yeah, and and anyone uh, who might be interested in sponsoring us, just know um, you are giving us permission to uh, come up with our own slogans that you then have to use. <laughs> yeah. On your own advertising. Yeah, that's that's part of the contract. Yeah, you don't have to pay us. <laughs> we just want to change your slogan. We just we've got we've got a lot of ideas, and um, we we want to share them with you. 
Don't tell me for a second you wouldn't go out to the store and buy some Greasy's Creases. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a, a like an exclamation. Greasy's Creases. Greasy's Creases. <laughs> yeah, I'd get some Greasy's Creases and some Reese's Pieces. <laughs> and have yourself a night. Yeah. Tuck in for a long one. You get a little bit of the salty, a little bit of the sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are, are you drippy? Oh, no, those are feathers. Yeah. Okay. I, that one you drew was, for some reason, like red as sweat. But the other's all red as feathers. I don't know I'm why. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Please don't talk to me. I don't know what I'm doing. I have social anxiety. <laughs> Just screaming psychically at everyone that she flies yeah. over. There's too many people around. I have to go. <laughs> Ah! Ah! I just walk away because I can't fly or I won't fly. Yeah, refuses to. <laughs> Waddles off. Aren't you a bird? Can't you fly? I don't, I don't want to tell me how to live my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that you gave yourself a little ponytail of feathers. Yeah. That's very cute. Um, Yeah, so I tried to make myself a little, I don't know. Fancy looking, almost yeah. like a fortune teller kind of deal. Fancy yeah. bird. I don't think that's what I do, but I'm like, that's close enough. That's a cool aesthetic. I want in. Yeah. And also, uh, crows just love, crows and ravens, they just love a shiny thing. Right. You're like a fortune teller in that only you could possibly ever know what you're going to draw. That's true. <laughs> no one, No one else <laughs> is able to predict it. Yeah. I think it's kind of like a weird reverse fortune telling. Yeah. You obscure the future for yeah. everyone else. You're, yeah. You're surrounded in a tachyon field that oh, prevents like any. A, I'm sure that's just a JoJo character somewhere. <laughs> tachyon field? Well, I'll say obscuring the future for oh, okay. everyone, everyone around them. Now I'm just thinking of JoJo has to fight an entire field that has a stand. I wouldn't put it past it. There's the there's the street that has a stand. Oh, good. In part four, street uh, that has a stand. I've gotta, I've gotta get back into <laughs> it. <laughs> I wish I, was, I wish I was joking. The pinnacle of television for me is the Italian restaurant episode from. Uh, uh that uh, that episode is real uh, good. Yeah. Is that part four? That's yeah. that's part four. This diamond is unbreakable. Anyway, this is me, Julia. This is a wonderful job you've done here. Thank you. I really this love is this the design. most Pokemon. It turns out Julia can draw Pokemon. She just can't be told the name of the Pokemon before drawing. Yeah. Well, you specifically told me to draw my favorite animal, so that's what I did. We locked you into drawing an actual animal this yeah. time and not just a human person. Yeah. Yeah, you've um, tricked me. I'm psyched to see the color on this one. I think you're going to do some cool stuff with the wings. We that's, need to come up with a... Fun. What's the name of this one? Did we come up with a name for oh, it? Oh, yeah. S... Spice. A spice. What? Psycho. Psycho. Too much like psycho. Also, Psycho is the villain from uh, Earthworm Jim. Oh, uh. you're right. <laughs> oh, dang. Um, hmm. Crow kick. Hmm. Cor something Corvid? Cor Corvice? Corvice is pretty cool. Corvice is cool. I like that. Corvice. Let's go with Corvice. We're going with that. The legendary Great. bird Corvice, don't speak to me, please. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> I don't want to battle, I'm scared. <laughs> I have other things to do. <laughs> I'm too busy for this. <laughs> I have to go and be legendary somewhere else. Hobbles uh, away. Well, great. Well, these are our Pokemon designs. Th this is what we are as Pokemon. Uh, feel free to let us know that we got our own typings wrong and that you feel strongly that we should have been different typings. <laughs> and if you want to participate, you could play this game at home Yeah, and tweet at the Droppy account with your uh, with your own Pokemon versions of yourself. I'd like to see some fan art from this. Make, make your own. Do it yourself. I would also yeah. like to Terrence see these. Terrence wants to see it too. Terrence, where can people find you? You can find me at the Black Nerd on Twitter and you'll find all my other stuff that you could it's ever all possibly want. It's all there. good. It's all there. Go look at it and listen to it and, and imbibe it. However you can get it in there, do it. Thanks for this great idea, Terrence. Yeah. And thanks for hanging yeah. with us. It was a, it was a lot of fun. This, you know, it's fun to hear what other people think of you when, when it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're all great. Yay. And I also think that we're sorry. 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 Sorry.